Bali should at least once be on everyone's bucket list. This paradise on Earth is made up of an enormous diversity of wildlife, breathtaking scenery and fascinating architecture. Whether you're looking for a relaxing beach getaway, a thrilling off the beaten path adventure or a shopping binge, this island has something to offer everyone. So here are our top 10 Bali attractions for 2022. Number 10. Marvel the beauty of Tanalot Temple. Bali's Tanalot Temple, which rests on a large rock in the water, is a popular site. Tanalot Temple is one of Bali's Pura Sagara 7C temples. Each temple is built so that it can be seen from the next. This creates a spiritual link all over the island. The temple, devoted to sea guardian spirits and built in the 1600s, is claimed to be guarded by fearsome sea serpents. You can walk to the Tanalot Temple during low tide, but high tide covers it almost completely. A rock-cut staircase allows priests to bless visitors in the sanctuary after dusk. Visit the Holy Water Cave and coastal waterfall below the temple to get the most out of your trip. Pura Batu Balong, a sea temple connected to the shore by a natural bridge, is another alternative. Kechak, a fire dance, begins around 7pm nearby. Number 9. Experience water sports in Tanjung Benoa. As you may or may not know, Bali is a great place to go if you want to kick back and enjoy the beach. However, Tanjung Benoa is a spot to go for thrilling water sports like all the island's beaches. Tanjung Benoa's shoreline with its white sand and blue waters is yet another sight to behold in this Bali paradise. Visitors and locals go there to sunbathe and do water sports. Rides include banana boats, donut boats and fly fishing. Parasailing and jet skiing are for the daredevils. Visit Turtle Island and see the nearby mangrove forest or see the island from above in a glass bottom boat. Number 8. Nusa Dua Bali Paragliding Fly Above the Sea The Best Swimming Beach 5 Star Resorts A Bali Water Sports Centre and a tranquil stay international airport is 20 minutes from Nusa Dua. The Bukit Peninsula in southern Nusa Dua has many hidden beaches behind the cliff. On top of the cliff is the Timbis Flying Site, which is the first and safest place to paraglide. Since 1995, the best place to paraglide in Nusa Dua has been at the Timbis Flying Site, which has long flight lines and several hidden beaches. Tandem paragliding in Bali lets you visit Timbis Beach, Gunung Payong Beach, Pandawa Beach and Malasti Beach. Paragliding with a tandem pilot is a fun and memorable way to add to your trip to Bali. It's easy to join a tandem paragliding flight without instructions, a dress code or advanced experience. To see the beautiful blue ocean from above, all you have to do is sit back and relax while the pilot takes the wheel. Number 8. Paying a visit to Ulundanu Temple One of Bali's tallest temples, Ulundanu, overlooks Lake Bratan. This beautiful temple and its surroundings reflect Balinese history, culture and spirituality. Water Temple Ulundanu means lake beginning. Hindus believe the directional temple protects Bali from bad spirits. Stupas or burial mounds greet visitors. The lakeside Pura Teratai Bang Temple has a dark, tiered roof and garden. Explore the four god and goddess temples. Penataran Puchak Mangu Temple worships Vishnu, Tarate Bang Brahma, Dalempo Wadanu and Linga Petak Siva. The temple rite is performed twice a year, but the Pakalem ceremony is done as needed. Bring a jacket to this 4,000 foot high Bali area. The lake is public, so rent a boat for photography or fishing with locals. Bedugul's Ulundanu Temple is 50 kilometers north of Denpasar. Bedugul has minibuses. To reach the temple, rent a car or a motorcycle or hire a driver and guide. If you're fit, hire a bike and explore. Number 6. Visit the Ubud Monkey Forest Temples, trees and long-tailed macaques make Ubud Monkey Forest sacred to Balinese Hindus. Here, you can study monkeys and trees. Ubud's Padatengal community owns the monkey forest. Visit Monkey Forest Temple. Many pagodas, pavilions and temples are reproductions of mid-14th century ruins. The largest structure, Dalem Agung Temple performs daily rituals. The Holy Bathing Temple cleans, whereas the Prajapati Temple holds funerals. Learn about macaques in the wild. Over 600 people live in four troops. Monkeys and buildings are important in Balinese Hinduism, which mixes animism, Buddhism and death worship. Don't feed the cheeky monkeys and keep your valuables safe. 
Cremation rituals use banyan leaves and pool bandak masks. Ubud Monkey Forest opens daily. It's walkable from Ubud. Parking is free. Visit this busy temple with a sarong on your legs. Cover your shoulders, ladies. Anyone under four years old, menstruating, wounded, or has buried or cremated a relative in the past week cannot enter the main temple. Number five, visit Alas Harum. Alas Harum Bali is the perfect addition to any trip to Bali. It is only 20 minutes from the center of Ubud. Surrounded by verdant vegetation, this intriguing location is ideal for capturing picture-perfect Instagram moments that will make your friends green with envy. Guests can swing, zip line, or ride a sky bike among the stunning terraced rice fields. You might also try the exotic Luwak coffee if you're in the mood for a more relaxing beverage. Guests will have the rare chance to learn about and try Luwak coffee, which is often thought to be one of the most expensive coffees in the world. In addition to these things to do, Alas Harumbali guests can go to Kretia Ubud, a great restaurant that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which are all delicious. There are a number of interesting places to take photographs in this location, including a glass house with a glass floor, a bird's nest, a dancing bridge, a big gorilla face, and a pekak bryut. Number four, splish and splash at Asia's number one water park. When you're ready for a break from the beach or the jungle, make your way to Waterbomb for a day filled with heart pumping activities like splishing and splashing. A visit to this water park, which has received multiple accolades and has been hailed as the best in all of Asia, is a memorable experience for the whole family, including the grown-ups. It features a variety of rides, including kid-friendly splash pools, tandem race slides, and even the dizzyingly high climax, which shoots you down through a vertical trapdoor, not for the faint of heart. After spending the day diving face-first down the twin racers, rocketing your way down the boomerang, and spiralling through the pipeline, you can calm down the pace and take a ride on the lazy river, which winds its way through the park's tropical gardens. Number three, hike up an active volcano. In Bali, there are many reasons to get up early, but one of the most iconic is to watch the sunrise from the peak of Mount Batur. The climb of 1,717 meters in altitude can be completed in around two hours. If you want to start the climb before it gets light, you should hire a local guide because the trail would be completely dark and have parts with the steep, loose ground. Starting at 2 a.m. and ending at 12.30 p.m., the tour will take you all over the city. The tour includes transportation to and from your hotel, as well as a breakfast of boiled eggs with indomie and a view of the sunrise, which is a sight to behold. Anywhere in Ubud, Sanur, Kangu, Kuta, Seminyak or Kintamani region will serve as the pickup location. Number two, take an unforgettable trip to Nusa Penida. With so many islands, Indonesia can count itself among the lucky ones. Astoundingly, you may choose from more than 17,000 islands in Indonesia, with Nusa Penida being among the most picturesque of them all. Getting to Nusa Penida from Bali takes no more than 30 minutes on a ferry. A day trip from Bali will get you to this natural beauty, but you'll wish you could have remained longer. Crystal Bay, a beach fringed with palm trees, Atu Beach, and the Thousand Islands viewpoint, all of which offer breathtaking vistas, are just a few of the island's many highlights. If you're looking for a memorable Bali experience, a trip to Nusa Penida should be at the top of your list. In addition to being a great place to dive or snorkel, Nusa Penida is one of the most beautiful islands in the region. Number 1. Chase Waterfalls Along Aling Waterfall is a dramatic 35 meter twin fall in Bali's north. The force of it isn't good for swimming, but it's beautiful in images. The three additional waterfalls in the region are Bali's natural water park, where you can leap from cliffs and ride rock slides. Croya Waterfall is a good start. Before sliding down the falls, beginners can warm up on the 5 meter leap. The natural slide is 10 meters long and almost vertical, so you should be ready to dive in quickly. A 10 meter double fall jump is at Kemba Waterfall. You'll need to jump higher to land safely on these rockier falls. Last but not least, a 15 meter jump down Puchuk Waterfall. Choose a guided waterfall trip if you've never jumped off a cliff before, or if you don't know the area well. We hope our list will help you plan a wonderful getaway to Bali. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.